Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we estamos aquí esta mañana para un training de Ameritas. We're here today for a training on Ameritas. Um, we have sandwiches in the office. Para los que no vinieron a la oficina, se perdieron de los sandwiches deliciosos de Publix. Um, y café esta mañana. We have coffee and sandwiches in the office this morning. Those that weren't able to come in person, sorry you missed out. Um, we're going to have a training this morning on Meritas. This training will be recorded and posted on our website. The training will start on the website de nosotros. Toma en cuenta, Ameritas vende muchos productos de dental y visión. They sell um, vision and dental products that you can cross out to your clients. So we have here Taylor Davis this morning to do the training. Yes. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, Taylor, I can see your screen. You're all set. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me on and I uh, hope everyone's enjoying those sandwiches in the office. I'm, uh, I'm jealous of that, but I uh, hope everyone's having a great week. Thanks again for having me on. Um, what we're going to be going over is, is Emeritus Dental and Vision products, um, how we stand out from the pack through our no waiting periods, uh, next day effective dates, one of the largest networks in the industry. And then also we're going to touch on some of the support aspect that we have for uh, not only you, the agents, but the member as well, the member portal, how they can view their claims, all that information, just so you have that in your back pocket when you do have that question come up from a from a client. Um, I think there's a chat box, so any questions, um, put them in there and we'll get to those. Um, we'll get to those at the end as well. Um, so what's new here at Emeritus? Uh, what we launched actually end of last year is uh, credit for prior coverage. We call it CPC. Uh, what that means is if someone's coming off of another group plan, um, if someone's coming off of a, another individual plan, and it's been active for 12 months and they're switching to Emeritus, they can have year two coinsurance benefits. And I'll show you that on the product itself. Um, but just know we do have that. It's on in all states. I know I think primarily everyone's in Florida. Uh, today, CPC is not in Florida, uh, but come March, end of March, uh, we're going to have another soft launch uh, for some of these new features and credit for prior coverage will be in Florida. Uh, weekly commissions as well. That's something we launched last year. Um, also, the producer portal. We've made a lot of edits um, to the producer portal just to have a more seamless um, atmosphere for, the, for you, the agent, to go in and, and see your book of business, um, see cancellation, see terminations. Um, and you can also order ID cards for the client as well on your producer portal. So why Emeritus? Why does Emeritus kind of stand out from everyone else? Well, we specialize in dental and vision. Um, it's about 70% of our business here at Emeritus. Uh, we've been doing it for a very long time. We do have plans in all 50 states. Uh, we do have some state variations, of course, um, but we do have a product in all 50 states. A question that'll probably pop up you know, every once in a while, a client might say, okay, you know, I've been going to Dr. Joe on Main Street for the past, um, you know, 12 years. Um, are, you know, today they're in the Emeritus Network. Are they going to continue to be in the Emeritus Network? Well, our persistency is 98% on those in-network providers. And again, we have one of the largest in the industry today. Product innovation, you'll kind of see that as we go through the products themselves. Uh, we have LASIK on one of our dental plans. We have hearing um, on one of our plans, we have a value plan. Um, uh, it's more in that 15 to $20 range product. So we kind of have a product that fits everyone's needs. Um, and we, and we do that through our product innovation. Um, also in regards to those kind of product innovations, what we have to offer, um, I mentioned it already, but we have no waiting periods. So what that means, if you're talking to a client today, they can go in tomorrow and get preventive, basic and major services done. Uh, we cover implants, we cover dentures, uh, we have child ortho on one of our plans as well. Uh, we have hearing, um, and then also we have preventive plus. I'm not going to touch a ton on that because uh, preventive plus is not um, in Florida as well right now. Um, but preventive plus just means preventive services don't go towards the max benefit, which again, I think primarily everyone's in Florida doesn't really play a factor because we don't have preventive plus. Um, really, the big thing that, that uh, of course, the product, um, the, the, the member, what the member has um, on the product itself, but when it comes to why agents 
uh, love to write emeritus is, is, is a lot to do with our enrollment process. Um, there's no back office login. Um, we don't ask for a social security number. We don't ask for an e-signature. Um, it's a very seamless process. And what happens is once you get contracted, and you might already be contracted with emeritus, but once you get contracted, we send a, a welcome email to you. And inside of that welcome email is a specific hyperlink dedicated to you. That's how you quote and that's how you enroll. You don't enroll on your producer portal. Producer portal is just for viewing your book of business. Your hyperlink is how you quote and how you enroll. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. We are 18 plus. Of course, dependents can be under that age of 18, uh, but the owner of the policy needs to be 18 or older. And we are zip code rated. We're not age rated. So someone could be 18 years old and someone can be 100 and they're going to have the same rate if they're in the same zip code. Back to our network. Um, I put I put product and network as as one A and one B. I think they're they're both very important uh, when talking about dental and vision. Um, it is is a network, um, and it is the emeritus network. Um, we don't have a third party network. It is the emeritus network. Uh, currently, we have about five hundred eighty two thousand access points, one hundred thirty one thousand providers with ninety three thousand locations. Uh, we also do have providers in Mexico as well. I think we have about 75 to 100 providers in Mexico. And our savings, or I like to call it negotiated rates, are anywhere from 25 to 50%. Right now, we're averaging about 30%. So without even talking about the product itself, just talking about the network, you're providing that economic value to the client by saving just by going in network. Again, we're averaging about 30% off the average cost of that dental procedure when going in network. Now, yes, a member has that flexibility of going in or out of network, but they save just that additional funds by going in network. Now our vision networks, we have both BSP and IMED. The same thing on that member flexibility when you're looking at um, uh, dental, they can go in or out of network. Well, at that point of enrollment, that client can choose, I want the IMED plan or I want the BSP plan, right? They're not stuck with, okay, if I have Emeritus Dental, that means I have VSP. That's not the case. They get to choose either IMED or VSP at that point of enrollment. Um, with both of those plans, and I'll talk about vision here in just a little bit, it really boils down to three things uh, on the vision aspect. Where are they used to going? What's their budget? And benefit frequencies, right? How often do they need um, contacts and glasses? And I'll kind of show you that here in just a little bit. So dental overview, already touched on it. I'll go over it again. No waiting periods on two out of three of our plans. Prime Star Total and Prime Star Access have no waiting periods. Prime Star Value does. Uh, product simplicity. You'll kind of see as we go through the plans, um, there's similarities, but then also there's there's differences. So we want to have, um, you know, like the, uh, the deductible. We want to have the deductible the same across the board, right? We don't have to be like, oh, well, this one has 75, this one has 50. All of ours has $50 deductible for basic and major services. Credit for power coverage, again, today it's not in Florida, uh, but end of March, credit for power coverage will be part of the Florida plan. And again, what credit for power coverage means is if a client is coming off of a, a group plan or a client's coming off of a, another individual plan that's been active for the past 12 months with no longer than a 60-day grace period, we'll give them year two coinsurance benefits. And that'll make more sense once you see the product, but I'll show you how that works. Um, and again, Florida, Indiana, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, Oregon, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Washington today do not have CPT. End of March, um, the old, I think South Carolina and Washington will be the only two that will not have CPT. So uh, we'll send out emails letting everyone know, but just know that Florida will eventually have CPT. So let's talk a little bit about our products, how we, how we stand out from the pack. Um, so the first thing we're going to go over is Prime Star Total. Uh, Prime Star Total is our um, most um, comprehensive um, and it's also uh, the, the most expensive plan we have. Um, so Prime Star Total, to, uh, the max benefit is 2,000 day one and jumps up to 2,500 in year two. What I mean by year two is on anniversary. Right. So today, if, if you were to enroll someone and they have 2000 max benefit, they'll have that for 12 months and then they jump up to 2500. Uh, preventive plus, again, not in Florida. Uh, deductible, zero dollars for preventive, fifty dollars for basic and major services. 
Preventive services, exams, cleaning, sight wing x-rays. We cover that at 100% day one. Again, talking to a client today, tomorrow they go in and get a cleaning. Say that cleaning costs $150, we're going to cover that 100%. Switching gears to basic, it's filling, simple extractions. We cover that at 80% day one, and that jumps up to 90% in year two. And again, year two means on anniversary. So after 12 months, they jump up to 90% on basic. Major, uh, oral surgery, root canals, gum disease, crown bridges, dentures, and yes, even implants are covered at 20% day one and jump up to 50% in year two. So again, year one, 180-20, year two, 190-50. We also, uh, on, uh, on the total plan, we cover the hearing exam benefit. Uh, there's no network on the hearing exam benefit. They can go anywhere, just submit the claim to us. We'll pay up to $75. Um, hearing aid benefit per ear, $200 day one, $300 in year two, $400 in years three. We do see a lot of our Medicare clients going towards this. I know you guys focus on the ACA side of things. So someone could buy this product, of course, um, but it is, we built it um, for that over 65 who are looking for the hearing benefits a little bit higher on the maximum as well um, to cover. So I think probably with, with you guys and, and what you market today on the ACA side, I think access and to access and value are going to be probably two of the um, you know the hot plans for you guys that you're going to be offering to your clients. So Prime Star Access, um, you're looking somewhere in that thirty to thirty five dollar range when you're talking about Prime Star Access. Um, Dental Max Benefit one thousand day one jumps up to two thousand in year two. Preventive Plus again not in Florida deductible. Same as total, $0 for preventive, $50 for basic and major. Now, one of the big things you'll see on PrimeStar Access, and it is the reason why it is a little bit cheaper than PrimeStar Total, is there is a different coinsurance if the client goes out of network, right? So that's why I talk about network and the utilization of network and the savings on top of the, the product itself. PrimeStar Total, it doesn't change if they go out of network, right? It, it's It's... 80% day one and for basic, whether they go in or out of network. For access, it's a little bit different. So preventive, if they go in network, it's covered at 100%. They go out of network, it's 80%. Basic is covered at 65% day one. Out of network is 45%. And then in year two, it jumps up to 80% and 60% out of network. Major, another difference than PrimeStar Total is we have teeth whitening on PrimeStar Access. Um, so uh, it's under the major category. So if they go and get, get teeth whitening, uh, we'll cover that at 20% day one, just like we do with crowns, bridges, dentures, and implants. So that's a, another difference um, than the other two products that we have on PrimeStar Access is that teeth whitening. So again, covered at 20% day one. You'll see the out-of-network right underneath that, 50% in year two. 30% out of network. We also have child ortho on this plan. 15% day one jumps up to 50% in year two. 1,000 lifetime max per person. And we cover something very unique on a dental plan is LASIK, right? Um, LASIK is benefit is per eye. $125 years one and two. $250 in years uh, three plus. So going back to that conversation of credit for prior coverage, right? When, when we do launch it at the end of March for the state of Florida, um, what that means is, again, if they're coming off of a plan and, they get, and they've had 12 months of consecutive coverage, well, they're going to get year two coinsurance benefits. So how that works is if they are, if they feel that, and again, we, answer, we ask three simple questions. Who's the previous carrier? What's that uh, policy number? And when was that termination date of the previous? We're not asking you to submit anything to us. No paperwork, no ID cards, no cancellation paperwork from the other carrier. We just, we're just asking three questions. To answer those questions, we'll, they'll be at 180, 50 year one, right? So it's a, it's a huge benefit for the client. So ask that question when you are talking to a client. Are they coming off of a group plan? Are they in between jobs? Um, that they, you know, they used to have a dental plan and they don't anymore. They can have credit for prior coverage. So just remember that during those conversations of, hey, did you have previous insurance uh, before our conversation? Prime Star Value, again, as I mentioned, you're in that $15 to $20 range uh, with Prime Star Value. It is our only plan that does have a waiting period on the major. Um, dental Max benefit is $750. 
Um, deductible, same as total and same as access. Zero dollars for preventive, fifty dollars for basic and major. Preventive services on the value plan, exams and cleanings. Cover so ninety percent day one, jumps up to a hundred percent in year two. Basic bite wing X rays go under that category for prime star value, fluoride, sealant, space maintainers, filling. Fifty percent day one, jumps up to eighty percent in year two. Major, as I mentioned, it's our only plan that does have a twelve month waiting period. 15% after year one. Now, again, back to that CPC conversation, once we do have it in Florida. And again, if, you are, if you're offering plans in other states, uh, we have CPC in, in primarily all of our states, but Florida being one of the main ones, we don't have it today. But once we do, end of March, even credit for our coverage with prime star value is a huge benefit, right? 180.15 if they're coming off of another plan. For the price that Prime Star Value is, and they get that benefit on top of it, it it's it's really a great product. Um, it already is a great product, but it becomes even a greater product once you throw in that CPC. Taylor, quick question on the LASIK. Go ahead. Two, two screens back on the LASIK. Can you go over that benefit a sure. little bit more? Is it 125 yeah, that yeah, the so plan pays? Yeah, yeah. $125 years one and two, and that's per eye. So if a client goes in, they can go anywhere and they submit the claim to us, we'll pay $125 per eye years one and two, right? So say, say the LASIK costs uh, $800 uh, per eye. So we're going to cover $125 of that $800. It's not a huge benefit, right? We're not covering 50% of it, but we threw LASIK on here because that's one of the things that we've heard a lot of in the past. And we, we didn't want to put it on a, a vision plan because that, that cost would just not be beneficial for the client. Throwing it on here, the cost wasn't a whole lot to put it on a Prime Star Access plan. So LASIK, again, covers $125 for both eyes in years one and two and $250 in years three plus. So if they have this plan and they haven't needed to have LASIK and they need LASIK in year three, then we'll cover $250 um, in that year as well. Does that answer your question? If I need to go in more no, detail, that's good. but per eye, no, no network, it's just we will. We, just paying whatever they submit to us. No, we got it. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, one of my favorite pieces, it's actually on our marketing site, and I'll, I'll show you our marketing site here in just a little bit. Um, it's a client-facing material that we have on there, and this is one of them. It kind of shows you how our product, hypothetically, how our product works from purchase to year one to year two. Um, it shows preventive, basic, and major services. It really lays it out for the client puts it in layman's terms of like, here's how the product works, right? We can show them brochures all day. We can show them everything we want, but really how does the plan work? And this is, this is one of my favorite pieces. I, this is why I put it on a, on a webinar to show you how our plan works, right? It's always good to see, um, you know, what I was talking about in the previous slides, what we have um, on your, on your portal and also on the member portal is we have a dental cost estimator. What you can do is you can go on there, type in the zip code, and you can see what the average cost is for any dental procedure out there, from exams to dentures to implants. You can you can see what that um, what that price is without insurance. Um, so that's exactly what I did on this piece. I typed in this is actually a Minnesota zip code. I typed in you know how much is it for a crown, how much is it for a filling, and how much is it for a preventive visit um, in this um, zip code. So if someone has no insurance at all and they need to go and get a crown, right? Crown's major. It's going to be in this specific zip code and it's and it's pretty even across the board. I mean, you, you type in a Florida zip code, you know, whether it's 1200 or 1500, it's going to be in this realm of a uh, price for the average with, with no insurance. So for time purposes, and I know, you know, we have questions at the end. So I'm going to focus on that blue column, the light blue, uh, which is the major, um, the crown. So again, typed in that zip code, looked and looked to see how much a crown costs in that specific zip code. Um, in this scenario, it's almost fourteen hundred dollars, no insurance at all. Now let's say the client purchases a Prime Start total plan or a Prime Start access plan, and they go into an in-network provider, right? As I mentioned, we're anywhere from twenty-five to fifty percent on those negotiated rates with those in-network providers. We're averaging about 30%. So take that 1368 times 30%, it's 803. So without even talking about the product itself, 
you're already saving that client almost $600, right? So that's what I'm talking about, 1A and 1B. Network's very important, right? I know we, we don't have every dentist out there um, in the marketplace today, but we, we do have one of the largest out there. So it's very difficult not to find a dentist nearby. Um, and I'll show you how you can do that. But they go in network. It's a, it's a big savings for the client. So 803 times 20%, right? Because we cover... Uh, major 20% day one. So 803 times 20% is 642. So that's a day one savings of 53%. Now, again, we went over the product, we covered 20% day one. All that information is great. The product is fantastic, right? But you throw network on top of that, that's a large savings, right? You could be talking to a client who says, you know, I've been needing to get a crown for the past, you know, six months, a year. That's, you can you can say, hey, I got a great plan for you. You can go as soon as tomorrow. You can get it. You're, you're going to get savings if you go in network. We, you know, the plan covers 20% in day one. Now let's look at if they cover in year two. Say they didn't need a crown or they didn't need anything major until year two. Well, we covered it 50%. So take 803 to go to an in-network dentist times 50%. It's 402. That's a huge savings for the client. That's a year two savings of 71%. So this really just goes line by line of showing a client how our dental product works, the benefits of having it, the benefits of the network, and also back to my credit for prior coverage conversation, is we're going to cover that if they're coming off of another plan that's been active for the past 12 months, we're going to cover them 50% day one. So really, you can look at that 402 being day one savings because we're going to cover that at 50% on credit for prior coverage. So remember that as well. So a vision, again, no waiting periods, of course, on our vision plan. Um, both of our plans, dental and vision, are standalone. You can put them together as well. There's no savings for bundling uh, the clients, uh, but they are both standalone plans. And again, as I mentioned, VSP and IMED, that client has that member flexibility at that point of enrollment to choose either IMED or VSP. VSP is going to be a little bit more expensive. It's just over, it's over that $16 range. Um, IMED is just over that $10.50. Um, and in Florida, it's a little bit cheaper actually as well. So as I mentioned before, when you're looking at vision, when you're talking to your client about vision insurance, where are they used to going, right? If they've been going to VSP for the past two years, well, and they like it, they're probably going to continue going there, right? Uh, same with IMED. They've been going IMED, they like it, you know, they're probably going to stick with it. Check in, what's their budget, right? Is their budget in that $16 range or is it in that $10 range? Thirdly, is that benefit frequencies? Do they need eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames every year, or can they just do it every two years, right? So that's how when we go through this plot product, just remember those, those questions when you're talking to clients about, about vision insurance. So VSP, a little bit more expensive plan, uh, but the benefit frequencies are once per year for everything. So exam, eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames are once per year. Deductible, a little bit cheaper, then IMED, a little bit more expensive, right? So you're going to have a lower deductible, $10 for an exam on VSP. And you'll see that per person per year, uh, $20 eyeglass lenses or frames uh, for the deductible as well. Left-hand side, you'll see everything's covered in full in network. And again, since that client has that member, you know, they can choose at that point of enrollment if they want VSP or IMED. Um, and you can look and see, you know, whatever doctor they go to, what, what network they're in. So choose that one, right? You'll see the out of network that shouldn't come up uh, because when they're looking for a plan, they're probably going to choose someone they've been going to uh, and they know the network well. So in network, out of network, covered in full in network frames, uh, frame and contact allowance is $150. Um, and then you'll see the lens options as well underneath that. IMED, um, again, great name recognition on both VSP and IMED. VSP of Costco, you got Sam's Club, you got Walmart. IMED, you have like Target, Pearl Vision. Uh, but IMED, a little bit cheaper, so those benefit frequencies aren't going to be as frequent, right? Once per year for an exam, and once every two years for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames, right? VSP was once per year for everything. Deductible, $25. VSP was 10 Also, covered in full. Just like VSP plan, the allowance is $130 compared to VSP is $150. So again, at that point of enrollment on your personalized type link that you receive once you're contracted with us, you're going to choose the dental plan, and then you're going to choose the vision plan. You're going to choose either IMED or VSP. 
So agent support, um, we really worked hard in, in, in 2022 to, to, uh, to get, to get new, uh, material for one, uh, brochures, social media stuff. Um, and secondly, we worked on the producer portal. Uh, we wanted it to be seamless. We wanted you to be able to go in there and see, you know, <laughs> everything that you want to see, terminations, um, people who registered, right? Cause you don't have to be face to face with a client. Um, you don't have to walk them through it. It's so simple. The enrollment process, a client can just click the button and enroll themselves. Um, so we worked hard on the producer portal, agent marketing site. Um, great information, just like that flyer I went over creating that economic value, showing how our product works from start to finish. And also our Sales Connect team. Um, we have about 10 uh, members of the Sales Connect team who are just there for individual dental and vision, whether it's clients or agents. You can call that number and they will help you out with anything and everything. Um, the only thing they can't do is they can't take a credit card over the phone. So if a client says, you know, I need to change uh, my EFC or credit card information, you know, they got to do that on their member portal or they can call our customer service team. And claims. Um, our Sales Connect team can point you in the right direction, but they can't, you know, view a claim and go through it with the client with them. They got to call the claims department. So Sales Connect, other than those two things, they are there for anything and everything uh, for both you and the client as well. So agent support, producerportal.emeritus.com. Again, producerportal.emeritus.com. Um, once you're contracted with us, register. Um, I don't know of everyone's LOA. I don't know if they're getting paid commissions, but if you're not set up on EFT, get set up on EFT so you can have weekly commissions. If you're still on paper checks, we send that monthly. Um, again, see your block of business. Uh, and there's actually a highlight sheet on the producer portal um, that, that uploads and, and you know, if someone enrolls, it'll, it'll hit on there uh, very quickly. Uh, you can see all sorts of stuff on there. Um, you can actually order ID cards for your member as well. Um, I'll, I'll go over here in just a little bit, but once a client hits submit, they purchase the plan, we send a, an email to that client and actually we attach the ID as a PDF to that email. And I understand not everyone has an email address. Um, and if they don't, we, we can mail it to the client as well. That's a, that's an option during that enrollment process. But if they do have an email, we'll send an email right away with a PDF version of their ID card, or they can go to their member portal, download their ID card there. But realistically, um, they, they can get a PDF just uh, just fine on on email when they get con or when they enroll. Um, agent, um, this is one of my favorite websites that we've come out with. We we launched it last year. Uh, this holds our brochures, flyers, social media posts, um, has videos about. Um, how to enroll, uh, which is so simple. Um, and then also we have podcasts, just literally everything on this marketing site that can, that can help you, that can help the client um, navigate, uh, you know, whatever they're looking for. Um, we also have one of the biggest things is um, our social media posts. If you guys are big social media, we, anything that, that we post, we put on this marketing site. So, and, and it's a lot about, you know, the need for dental and vision, um, new articles that come out, you know, we're really on top of that on our marketing team of getting that out as soon as possible. So check that out every so often, see what's new on there. And, uh, there's just a lot of client facing material as well. Back to our sales connect team. We do have an English line and a Spanish line as well. Our English line, 888-336-7601. And our Spanish line is 855-728-7542. We do have an email, right? Sales connect at emeritus.com. You can email that team, answer any questions. Also an online chat um, on your um, on your portal or also on the marketing site itself. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, they're there to answer anything and everything other than taking a credit card or, 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 uh, or EFT information over the phone. They just can't do that, uh, but they can do everything else. Member support. I think this is huge for when you're talking to a client. Hey, you, you got them on a great plan. Now, now what? Right? What, what does the client have? What do we have to offer? What does Emeritus have to offer for a member once they have the product? So um, for a member to go on, on the portal, it's, it's Emeritus.com slash sign in. Again, Emeritus.com slash sign in. They can go on there. They can view um, their plan. They can get their ID card. 
Um, they can change their um, credit card information. They can change their ACH information. Information. They can view claims on the member portal. Really everything. Um, they also have that dental cost estimator. So a client can go on there and be like, you know, I wonder what the average cost is for, you know, dentures in, in my zip code. They can go on there and, and see that. And then they can see the network rate as well. Uh, we also have find a provider on the member portal. Uh, we have find a provider everywhere. We have it on your portal. We have it on the marketing site. Um, but they have find a provider. They can go on there and they can type in their zip code and they can see all the dentists in that net, in the, in the five mile radius, 10, I think we go all the way to 50 mile radius, um, that they can view. So back to the, uh, quoting and enrollment process. Again, once you get contracted with us, you're going to receive a welcome email. Inside of that welcome email will be a personalized hyperlink. It's uniquely yours, right? You're, you don't use anyone else's. Um, this is how we track an agent. This is how we track what an agent produces. This is how you get paid. This is everything. So remember, don't go to our emeritus site. Don't use another agent's hyperlink. Use your specific hyperlink because that's how we track your business. Um, you can share this hyperlink. I have tons of agents who share it on social media. It pops up very nicely when you put in the hyperlink on, on, the, uh, uh, on the post. It pops up, says click here for dental and vision. You can put it on there. They can enroll themselves because, again, there's no login. There's no e-signature. We don't ask for a social security number. Very seamless. Um, I also have agents who create QR codes. You can go to Google and say create QR code, put that hyperlink in there, and you'll have a QR code. I have some agents who uh, make uh, uh, make business cards and they drop them off at um, dentist offices, and they have that, and someone can scan it, and they can just enroll right there in, in, in dental and vision as well. Uh, just a lot of different avenues. Of course, you can put it on your email signature down below. Click this link for dental and vision, enroll themselves. You can send it out to your clients, right? All your ACA clients, maybe you haven't offered dental and vision in the past. Say, hey, I got a great new dental and vision plan. Click here to enroll. It's as easy as that. It really is. And I'll show you that here just a little bit. So as mentioned, we are zip code rated. So that first question that's going to pop up is where are you located? What's the zip code? Now, every so often up in that top right-hand corner, click on that agent tab. It's going to have your information, right? It's this, this hyperlink is yours. Um, it's, it's a website for you. Um, so that agent tab will have your information. If you click on it and it says sales connect, you're in the wrong hyperlink. You got to click on it every so often on that agent tab, make sure it's your information. So again, first thing we're going to ask is zip code. What's going to pop up is do you need uh, dental coverage? Yes. Do you need vision coverage? Yes. How many need coverage, right? Is it, uh, you know, a husband and a spouse? Is it a family? Um, how many dependents, all that information will pop up as well. And then what's going to come up is the dental plans first and then the vision plans. So exactly what I went over with the dental plans is on here. So you really don't have to carry around a brochure. Uh, I think that flyer of showing how the product works is great. Um, but I'm not a fan of having to carry around, you know, three brochures and show, show how the product works. It's already on your hyperlink, right? Under that view plan details, Click on that and all the information I went over, the coinsurances, uh, what's covered under each one, it's all right there. Um, you can compare plans, right? You can put uh, PrimeStar Total and PrimeStar Access next to each other and see, okay, PrimeStar Access has teeth whitening. Oh, PrimeStar Total has, has vision. Um, there's an out-of-network coinsurance on Access. There's not an out-of-network coinsurance on Total. So you can kind of go through there and compare with the client or they, they can do it themselves as well. Uh, another cool feature is uh, the share quote. So you go to your hyperlink, you type in this information, the, the zip code, how many need coverage, what coverage, and you can just share this quote with the client and they can just enroll right off of that quote, right? Instead of, I mean, it, you're, you're doing about four steps for them, but if you do that, you can share the quote and they can enroll themselves as well. But again, every so often, make sure up in that top right-hand corner, that agent tab has your information on it. So uh, when you do get to the dental plans, again, this is what I was talking about with, with the share plans uh, for the client. You can see everything, right? When, when, they're, when they're looking at them side by side, they'll be able to say, okay, here's, here's the price for, for each one. And as I mentioned, PrimeStar Value is our value plan. PrimeStar Access um, is, is the plan that um, is, is the middle 
middle ground has that out of network coverage. And then we have prime star total, which doesn't have the out of network coverage has a little bit higher maximums as well. So you'll kind of see, we space it out nicely when it comes to pricing. Um, and again, product simplicity, right? It's dental and vision. We don't want to confuse the client. We don't want to have it be a, a, a day long conversation on what dental plan they have. That's why we have three plans. They're, they're kind of specific to, to each person. They kind of know exactly what they want. And it's as easy as that. So I know you guys under, are under Messer and, and I used Messer's uh, 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 PowerPoint that I did. So I apologize that Messer's name on there. I should put your guys' name on there. Uh, but if there are any questions, happy to answer them. I see there's some chat box uh, going on here. The LASIK, we answered that. Plain LASIK. Is there any other questions? You guys can talk out loud too and we can have a conversation or um, I'm happy to show you anything or whatever it might be. So I'll kind of let you guys have the floor. Spanish speaking. Uh, is, any, uh, is any marketing we can do in Spanish in our uh, social media? The question is, um, most of our client, most of our agents, the majority of our agents are Spanish speaking only or mostly. And the question is, do you sure, do sure. you guys have any of the social media information in Spanish already, or is that something we would have to translate to for our clients? We do have some. Are we, so we have brochures, um, of course, in Spanish, um, and we have. I think we do have some marketing. I'll have to go in there and see what we have. But if there are are things that you see, um, yeah, you can translate them um, on there. Um, but I know brochures for definite, we, we do have the Spanish, Spanish versions of those. Uh, we also, um, and I apologize, I wish I spoke Spanish. We do have a Spanish recording of, of, of one um, that kind of followed along with what I was saying. And we have a Spanish version of a PowerPoint um, that I can send you guys as well. Um, so my apologies that I didn't know primarily everyone was Spanish speaking. So I can send that over to you as well and kind of review that and, and there might be more questions after you after you go through that uh, Spanish speaking PowerPoint. I put my email in the chat so you can send the PowerPoint to me and I'll, I'll hand it out to the agents that need it. Um, most of them understand English, so they'll be fine. But when they're speaking to okay. our clients, a lot of our clients do um, mostly speak Spanish. Um, in the beginning, you mentioned sure. about the the first product from Medicare, we do have a lot of Medicare clients. Can that product okay. be used in, com in combination with like a Medicare Advantage plan? Absolutely, yes. We do not coordinate benefits. So we'll always pay as a primary. So they can have, you know, we, we don't look at whatever plans they have. We always pay as a primary. Now that's not to say that that MA plan might coordinate benefits or that other dental plan might coordinate benefits, but here at Emeritus, we do not coordinate benefits. So I would probably, if you don't know if the other carrier does, submit that first and then submit Emeritus or tell the dentist office to do that. So no, we do not coordinate benefits. Oh, great question, Susanna. Yeah, so on the provider site, um, to find a provider, we do have some in green and some in black lettering. The ones in green lettering, uh, we, we kind of want to say thank you to that provider for going above and beyond on those negotiated rates. So you're correct. Just the ones in green have a, have a better negotiated rate than the ones in black. Now, again, we partner with those providers who have, you know, we could have 100% of the providers out there, but providers say, okay, yeah, I'll give you a 2% you know, discount on, on implants. Well, that's not really we want savings, right? We don't want to just be with the provider just to be with the provider. We want to have negotiated rate. We want to provide that economic value to the client. So when people do go above and beyond in our, in our network, we want to say thank you. So the ones in green do have a higher negotiated rate than the ones in the black lettering. Um, the question is the... Monthly premium, is that per person or per family? So the 19, 35, no, it, 45? Yeah, that's per person. Um, so, you know, family will be, um, it'll be, if, if yeah. So if, if there's a family, you know, you definitely want to do family. Don't buy all individual. 
Um, but it's pretty spot on. I think you, you save a couple cents and when it's a, a member plus one, uh, family is a huge savings, right? Um, but yeah, that's that $19 is for one, one member. So when we do the family plan, it'll pop up as what they pay monthly per family or will it pop up per individual and it'll give them the discount per individual? No, it'll be a family. It'll be a, it'll be a family price. So our prices are individual, individual plus one and then family. Okay, perfect. Any other you, on that hyperlink on that hyperlink it, i can't stress it enough every so often just hit that agent tab up in the top right hand corner and make sure you're on the right hyperlink again it's kind of easy to, to jump to another page and then go to the other one and you're like you know i'm not sure click that agent tab if it's your information on there you're on the right you're in the right spot Um, I have another question for um, what is required from the individual to enroll in the plan? Do they have to have a social security number? Do they have to be in the country? Um, do, they, do you require legal documentation as to being in the country? What do you require to enroll very in the question. plan? Yeah, very, very simple. Yeah, we don't ask for a social security number. Um, we All we ask is date of birth, name, um, address that's pretty much it um yeah no social security number no e-signature you know they're not going to get an email saying sign this to enroll in this plan right once you hit submit once you put in the information um you know they have the product uh, we take both credit card and eft uh, or ach uh, and there's no we don't upcharge for credit card uh, credit card and ACH are the same price. Uh, so yeah, no, no, no social security number. We don't ask for any identification of that nature. Uh, Christian, uh, you go to, uh, explore E X P L O R E dot emeritus dot com slash agent marketing and i'll send this out and I'll, I'll i'll even send you the the powerpoint and then of course you'll have the uh, spanish speaking uh, powerpoint as well um but i'll send you all that information uh question on the commissions um we get paid how do we get paid is it a one-time payment is there residuals how does that work yeah i'm not i, I don't want to get into what i don't know your commission schedule with um, with Messer, but, uh, yes, it is. You get, um, we have heaped first year and then you have residuals in years two plus. So yes, you continue to get paid on the, on the plan. For the client, would the uh, plan automatically renews after a year? Yep, it sure will. And if they're on one plan and the second year they want to switch to another plan within Ameritas, is that allowed? And do they start off at year one or would they be graduating to year two? Yeah, great question. So they can go, so say they have Prime Star total, they can go to Prime Star Access in year two, right? There's no other plan and they don't have to start over, but they can't go up and benefit. So if they're on a Prime Star value and in year two, they're like, oh, I'd love to have Prime Star Access they would start over from day one. Um, if they want to cancel in the middle of the year, can they cancel or is it just automatically uh, deducted? They can cancel at any time. Yep. They can cancel in a month, two months, three months. They can cancel at any time. Uh, good question. If a client enrolls in a plan here in Florida, but they end up moving to another state, do they need to change their address? And if so, will their monthly payment change? Yes, they do need to change their address. Um, it could change. It depends on the zip code and, and what they were what they were paying previously. Um, now, if they're in Florida and they go to 
I don't know, let's just say Georgia, um, just to visit and they go to Georgia to go to the dentist. Um, they don't have to change anything. We're just going to pay if Georgia was the state specific, we would just go to that product and pay it that way. Right. Like, Preventive Plus, for instance, isn't in Florida, but it is in Georgia. So they would have Preventive Plus because it's in Georgia. So, yes, if they're moving, they need to change that address, but they can get um, dental work in, in other states. And And again, utilize Sales Connect as much as you can. Sales Connect at Emeritus.com or um, the, the numbers as well. Reach out to them. They're, they're there to help you all the time. Only thing that will change will be the monthly payment, right? The benefits will not vary. It depends if they move to like uh, a state specific, right? If they, if they go to Illinois, Illinois is a little bit different um, on the product itself. So the product will change a bit, but I think it's like 42 of the states are the same. So they're probably going to move to a state that, yes, it's the same product. But if they do move to like New York or Washington or Illinois or Connecticut, the plans are different in that state. So the benefits will vary if they move to one of those states. But primarily, they're all the same. Um, for the LASIK in that dental plan, does it go through the um, network of VSP or, in, or is it a completely separate network because it's on the dental plan or is it any doctor? Yeah, it's any doctor. Yeah, you can go anywhere. Uh, as long as they got LASIK, they can send that claim to us and, and we'll pay up to that up to that amount. So the client would be the one sending you the bill and then is there a form that they have to fill out? Yeah, they'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll have a claims form uh, that they have just because LASIK, we don't have a network for, for LASIK. Um, so for, for dental, and I'll kind of get into this a little bit, for dental, uh, if they go in network, all the in network dentists submit the claims to us, right? A client never has to touch a claim form ever. Out of network, it's kind of 50-50. An out of network dentist sometimes says, I'm going to submit the claim to Emeritus. Uh, some dentists uh, say, you know what, I'm not, they're not in my network, so I'm not going to submit the claim to them. You need to submit the claim to them. I would say it's probably more on that 70-30 out of network. Now that I think about it, um, primarily they submit the claims directly to us. Now, when it comes to LASIK, it's LASIK and we're, we're a dental company. So, yeah, this they'll they'll they won't have anything, but they'll have the information that you'll send to us or the client will send to us and then we'll pay and then we'll pay that client the, the, the money. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Otra mm -hmm. pregunta? Si la quieren poner en español, yo las traduzco. Thank you for the training. We have uh, like six new agents that came on board in the last 30 days. So hopefully you'll be getting some more contracts um, next week from them um, to sell the product. Um, any other questions? Great. No, I appreciate you guys taking the time. And, and I'll send you over the, uh, the PowerPoint um, as well. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Taylor. You have a great weekend, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Um, gracias a todos que están en el training. Cualquier cosa, cualquier pregunta nos avisan. Um, el training va a estar en la plataforma de Insurance Pro uh, ya la semana que viene. This training will be up on the Insurance Pro website by next week. 
If you have any questions, I also put a lot of the pictures and the web pages in uh, the WhatsApp group so that you guys have it. Mucha de la información la puse en la página en el WhatsApp group de nosotros y cualquier cosa nos avisan. Feliz fin de semana and happy birthday, Andrea.